So today guys we check out another weapon I haven't seen much on and I myself have used this for a few days I can actually say it's definitely worth a video on. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and today I bring you another Borderlands 3 video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like it really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. On screen now you can see my weekly giveaway along with last week's winner. To be in with a chance of winning this yourself follow the instructions on screen now. Before we start people let me just wish you all a great 2020 and I hope you enjoyed your new years. So the weapon today we were going to check out is a pistol, it's called the Wicked Robo Mouse Masher. And what its name suggests is exactly what this thing does. So it's a pistol, it's a rare, yes, and I know this alone in the minds of many leads to this thing being disregarded. I personally myself felt the same for being rewarded this, I mean this DLC offers a few great pistols already. The Scoville, the Lucky 7 to name a few. So why bother with this rare variant? Well, a couple of days ago, I uploaded a video on the first new grenade we've seen to this game since the gas call within the Bloody Harvest. The grenade was a rare variant called the Acid Burn, rewarded for completing a certain mission within the DLC story. The grenade was okay, nothing great, but the intentions behind it, in my opinion, was the fact it was perfect to use above the handsome jackpot for newcomers to the game. I feel this Mountain Masher is the same, perfect for newcomers to this game. But also guys, it goes way beyond that. What we actually have here is a super powerful corrosive pistol, definitely worth your time checking out and taking a second look at. Now using this on Mayhem 3 on the handsome jackpot it indeed mounts all due to corrosive being really effective against robots. It will also do exactly the same on Mayhem 4 also, especially with some of the builds I know you guys are rocking. Now to clear something up, I get asked by many why I play on Mayhem 3 and not Mayhem 4 and the answer is quite simple. Mayhem 4 was an extra mode put into the game for people who found the difficulty of Mayhem 3 non-existent. Mayhem 4 was a rush mode implemented in my opinion without real good thought. And it was only a matter of time before we saw strats from always like Mayhem 3 working on Mayhem 4. Mayhem 4 now is a walk in the park to many people. But to me, the 800% extra health, armor and shields don't justify the loot rewards. For sure if the loot rewards were much much better than Mayhem 3 I'd probably consider it but they ain't nowhere near what they should be. So unless you just want to play everything Mayhem 3 offers just taking you more time in doing said things Mayhem 4 is for you. Me personally I will stick to Mayhem 3. Another point is the fact I've always tested my weapons within Mayhem 3 and in keeping it this way I can get a true feel of the more potent weapons over the weaker ones. If I switch to Mayhem 4 now, all of what I've learned of previous weapons is wasted because everything changes. So the Wicked Robo Mouta Masha is a rare pistol rewarded for completing the plan mission or the plan section of this Mox's Heist DLC story. It's a 5 times variant as we see it doing 395 damage times 5, with a 20% accuracy, 53% handling, 2 second reload speed, a 12 shots per second fire rate, with a magazine size of 6. Reduce, reuse, recycle, reload. Plus 10% critical hit damage, minus 59% weapon damage, with a 2.2 times zoom. Critical hits ricochet one bullet to the nearest enemy, the Jacob's Trait. What this doesn't do though, people, is consume multiple ammo per shot, even being a 5 times variant, meaning with all the means you have of extending the ammo clip, it does indeed make a crazy difference using this weapon, making it even more potent. Now using this on the handsome jackpot, I'm seeing myself use it way more often over the Scoville and the Lucky 7 as it's just way more effective. Taking it out of the handsome jackpot and although it isn't as potent, it's still a very very good and very capable weapon for sure. It actually quite rarely offers something we don't see in a rare weapon. Great fire rate, powerful, amazing sight and just snappy and feeling all round great. So yeah guys, the Wicked Robo Mount Masha is a surprisingly great pistol, when at least I feel you should give a try. Again, it's rewarded for the plan mission, once you complete this going through the Moxie's Heist DLC story, you will be rewarded this weapon. You get it once per playthrough, so if you disregarded it and dropped it when you first got it, you will have to run through the story on a, another character to get this. Would I say it's worth that? Probably not, but it is indeed a great great weapon. I mean we've seen many many rare weapons in this game which are amazing to use. I feel this is another one. I mean there's quite a few that have been rewarded for missions from this Moxie Size DLC which I will cover in videos to come. Some of them are pretty good. What I'm testing at the minute is amazing I'm feeling at the moment. But again it is a rare, but like we've learned over the past month or since the game's come out, a weapon's rarity doesn't really matter as we've seen some of the most powerful weapons in this game being of that blue rare variant. 
Labyrinth. But yeah guys, this has been the Wicked Robo Mountain Masher, a rare blue pistol capable of some amazing things. On that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps. Uh, if you've had this pistol and tried it, let me know what you think about it down below in that comments section. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video or upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.